Hello, Internet. I'm here with uh, superstar Danny. I'm going to give you the microphone and have some of that. Why, thank you. Thank you very much. Why, hello. So, we got giveaways today. We've got, uh, you just saw them, the Sketch the Rhyme. First, first guess, uh, Gluttony the Big Pen on the 9th of March. We've got a double pass to give away. So, I know. Uh, I his know. mic's not on for the glory. Um, okay, and then the other ones are who you just saw then, Comedy Action Rangers, and they are on tomorrow night, no, tonight, sorry, at Harry's Bar. So another double pass for them as well. So get on the chat room and the most creative insult to insult Jason gets the tickets. All right, enjoy. Back to you, Chong. Thanks, Danny and Maz. Danny um, is the one who organized most of this show. So um, she actually has a proper job because she's good at this kind of stuff. Um, people are willing to pay for it. So uh, she's not here most days, but she's totally coming today, which is awesome. So hey, Danny, thanks so much for coming in and all your hard work. You're welcome. Yep, Maz cut to himself <laughs> instead Hi. of Danny. That's cool. Uh, and then when Danny was doing those giveaways, her dress was flying around because there's a fan near her feet. And I nearly saw her bum, but I didn't. It wasn't that bad. Anyway. <laughs> Doesn't matter. Right. Hey, everyone. You, if, if you watched uh, Fishbowl last year, you might remember uh, Comedy Virgin. No, not Comedy Virgin. Fringe Virgin Damo, who um, uh, his, his goal on the show every week was to figure out what he needed to do, learn off other people uh, how to put on a fringe show. This year, he's put on a fringe show. And from all reports, it's pretty fucking good. Is it? How you going, man? <laughs> Alright, man. I don't know, I haven't heard anything. That was a compliment, by the yeah, way. Yeah, it was good. It's it's good. good. Is it? Is yeah. It? Yeah. I don't know. Hey. So, man, um, it's uh, it's awesome that, that you're putting on your first Fringe show. It is. And you're dressed so well. Mm -hmm. And you're dressed. Yeah, and who are, who are these ladies on your poster? Well, this is uh, Scratch and Sniff. They're the door okay. girls. They're the vigil voluptuous door girls. <laughs> yes. Alright. And I've uh, seen Why you almost stay there? <laughs> No, I didn't say anything. <laughs> I'm on best behaviour. Oh, really? Uh, yeah. That's disappointing. Okay, well, maybe we can wreck that. Yeah. So, no, the girls, they work at the palace, they're strippers. Mm -hmm. Right, because they were going to be, but they're too tired because they're taking their clothes off all night. Yeah. So you know how it is when you're a stripper. Yeah. Hard work. I do know, man. Right? I so, do. More than you can think. But it's a pretty good deal we got going. Uh, the show's quarter to nine, ten bucks a ticket, mm. and if you come to the show, you get a free pass to go to the palace. Really? <laughs> which is a $20 ticket, and you can see the girls take their clothes off. <laughs> so you get comedy and then you get naked. It's a good job, man. That's awesome. I think yeah, if you went to the comedy action pages, you'd probably see both of those things in the same show. <laughs> nice. And you fly with these ladies. They seem lovely. How do they you are. how do you meet them? At the palace. Okay. <laughs> it's pretty handy, really. Good work. You know? So that's uh, where I did my research. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. It was a pretty hard research. And so for those of you who don't who who may have seen the show last year, you had a puppy. You made me a sandwich one day. Seemed like a lovely guy. But they haven't seen you on stage. Describe yourself on stage. There's a reason why we call you Hardcore Demo. Because it's hardcore comedy. Yeah, it's politically incorrect and offensive. That's all we need to say, really. <laughs> That's so a really good description Pebbles of what you do. Pebbles is in the show. Pebbles is your dog? No, not actually in the show. In the, you know, oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, she's in the show. So you have to come along to see that little, little brat get some punishment. <laughs> uh, what else in the show? Well, Smacking is, kids. Well, it's interesting because I saw you do a kid spot. Yeah, last know. weekend. Pebbles was in it. Yeah. Yeah. She was a dog shark. Some, someone sent me a photo. Was it you that sent a photo? Or it was me. No, someone no. showed me a photo of of you yeah. with your dog on a fishing line. Yeah, yeah, she was a dog was shark. A shark. I had a shark fin made for her back. So I, I threw out some schmackos. She went running out and I had a fishing rod reeling it in. You know, That's the kids hilarious. liked it, didn't they? They thought it was pretty good until she started jumping on them. Oh. Freaking them out. She was trying to bite their face. <laughs> you know, it's all part of the show. So, yeah, it was pretty good. Awesome. So, man, you, um, you, how long have you been doing comedy? Uh, probably two years. Two years? Yeah, just about, yeah, year and a half, two years. Yeah. And uh, did you, have you always been uh, politically incorrect and offensive, or? Yeah, probably since I was about four. Okay. Yeah, I was always a shithead. Right. Always. Have you known yeah. him since you were four? No. They were not. They were no. not even a glint in no, someone's penis. Only, they're young. Well, she's younger than her. Do you have a favourite? No. Come on, mate. No, I don't. They're both good. Yeah? They both have different things. This one's cheeky hardcore. This one's really, like, she's good with the guys. <laughs> guys melt. All so, right. You know, we're flyering and they're there. She's there, hey, guys, you would like to come and see a comedy there, chef? Anything you want, baby. Anything you want. 
So what is their actual role in the show? So they mainly just like help flyer and They're flyering and they just do the door. So one does the door, takes your tickets. The other one seats you like an usher at the movies with a little torch. Are people even they, there to see you at all, you reckon? <laughs> yeah, well, it, to get them in the door, but then they laugh. <laughs> so, you know, it's a bit of That's a... Hilarious. Picture this. It's marketing. We do you on stage, but the whole crowd is turning around and looking at the, uh, the yeah, door you, instead. You couldn't have them sitting in the back or anything or off to the side because no one would be looking at you. No, they've got to go to work and take the clothes Oh, of course. You know right. what I mean? Um, and so, <laughs> uh, I, had, I had a total question, but um, well, you think about boobs too much, I can't think of anything else. Um, so, how, your show's been going well, what, what, what kind of a crowd do you attract going with this? Good. You know what, it's all husband and wives and guys, and we had some old people and some young people. And how do old people like you? Because old people can be more disgusting than you think. That's exactly right, and, and that's the cool thing. We had some old nanas, nana came up and gave me a kiss, going, mm. that's really, you're really funny, love, you're really funny. I'm there, yeah, well thanks nana, good job. <laughs> So I was pretty happy with that. Thanks, Nana. No, was it your are, Nana? Mm. No, she's dead. Oh. Yeah, shame, really. <laughs> Glad I brought so, that up. Yeah. But I find like older people that really love innuendo. Like, would you say mm. there's any innuendo in your show? Is it really like on the plate sort of? I don't know what that means. Yeah, yeah. I've well, seen your acting. I don't know what that means. Really? Yeah, what does it actually mean? I'm like, you implied, you know, so rather than going. So innuendo is uh, like, oh, the vicar gave me one. Yeah. Not like, ah, oh, the vicar ran me with his penis. <laughs> Like that's oh, not innuendo. Oh yeah, no, nah, there's no vicar jokes. But I <laughs> yep, totally got the point. <laughs> that's, that was good. Innuendo uh, might be, or there might be something in my pants, as opposed to look, there's my cock. Do you know what I mean? That's the kind of. Oh the yeah, there is a little bit of that. Right. Yeah, we you, use you, your so you I can't it. imagine that yeah, would be yeah. your strong point though. I think you're more yeah, about just here's my cock. It yeah, it's more shock. No, there's no cock in it. No, I'm not saying there's. Oh Jesus, you have no. Yeah. No, I know. I'm just joking <laughs> around. So um, yeah, no, it's. No, I'm pretty straight to the point. Yeah. I'm a shock comic. Exactly. So you don't see it coming, you know. Mm. You hear it. <laughs> <laughs> right, and so um, what, what, what time are you? Are you late or? Quarter to nine. That's a, that's a good, that's a good time. That's like. a good time. 45 minute show, we've got four left. Do you like a bit of Rufty Tufty with the audience? A bit of back and forth? Or are you just like, let me, look, I'm, I'm good no, at this. I'll, you I'll shut up and I'll. I want people to heckle. Oh yeah? I would please, please heckle. Right, come and heckle me. Let's fucking bring that shit on, man. I love it. You know, I've had a couple of drunk ones, and uh, yeah. I think anyone who's gonna heckle yeah. just went, nah, I'm not gonna do that yeah, anymore. Well, no, it's, it's actually, I like it actually. I had a drunk guy two weeks ago, and uh, he's now on YouTube. So. <laughs> <laughs> Sweet. Uh, so, what, what, do you, what do you want to get out of Fringe? Well, I'm learning a lot. Yeah. You know, I'm learning a lot. I've, you know, I've what well, got seven shows, so. I think by the end of the show, the last show, you know, I think I'll be a bit better, but I think another year, mm. next year will be much tighter and more professional. So I've made People should mistakes. totally see you this year though too, right? Well, it'd be nice. Yeah. You know, be kind. Spend 10 bucks, get a $20 voucher to see strippers. What are you, stupid? <laughs> 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 that should be on the poster. No, the poster's pretty good. <laughs> right. Yeah. Uh, so you went to London early this year or late yeah, last late year? Yeah, late last year. Yeah. How'd yeah, that go? You do gigs? Man, that was pretty cool. Yeah. If they like you straight away, they like you the whole time. Mm. Apparently that's what I heard. So I went in, did a gig, it went well, and um, yeah, it was a very warm and open and responsive and got heaps of gigs, got asked back to do yeah. more gigs. And yeah, it's very busy though. Mm. I don't like that part. 14 yeah. million people, like, it's fucked. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, in London. It's tough, like, There's it? 22 million in Australia. Mm. So do the math, people. It's fucked. <laughs> Equals yeah. fucked. It is. Yeah, so are you going to go back there? on the same tube. Yeah, well, there's a tube every minute. How's that? Every minute. Have you been there? There must be at least six tubes. Well, it's from, what, six in the morning or midnight? Well, every mi minute. Eight, then. That's yeah, a lot. Well, that's a lot, man. You do the maths. Yeah, no, nah, I can't, because I didn't go to school, remember? <laughs> Sorry I brought that up. Yeah, yeah. And yeah, with, right. your, with your dead nana as well. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah. I don't know a lot of words. But I do know a lot of other you know, words. Yeah, you know, yeah. you know some words. Yeah, I've got my own language. <laughs> so, um, uh, you are also, oh, can we talk about MasterChef? Is that a thing? We can yeah, talk? I was first eliminated. Yeah, yeah but got MasterChef. Yeah, but you are an awesome chef. Are you still doing that? I'm still chefing out, but only at home. Only at home, so, yeah. just for the daughter and the and It was pebbles. Gary. Gary fucked it all up. Yeah? Gary is that short and fat, you can see his feet on his driver's license. You know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> He's like a Muppet. I didn't ever like Gary. Good, all right. Yeah, yeah. But you are a, a, a wonderful chef. You you made me a sandwich around this time last year. Oh, Top no. two sandwiches of my life. Seriously? Top two. <laughs> there was that one, and there was one when I'd been eating junk food for like five days straight, and I went and I got a, a pastrami, no, like a salami sandwich, and it you fucking changed my life. Yeah. yeah you but your sandwich with the mayo and the 
shredded shit. Fuck Whatever me. I, made, I can't remember. It was, oh man. It's it in my good. It, top two sandwiches. Top two. Anyway, okay. uh, hey man, uh, we need to play a game with you. All right, let's I have do to, this game. I have to, what do you like at, what do you like at, hang on. Not spelling or learning words. That's cool. Bow, bow. You have puppet madness. Puppet madness. Puppet madness. Right, so, this is going to be awesome. Is that the puppet there? You're a puppet. Pinocchio. On meth. No, that's me. Oh. That's you now. No, it is. Yes, correct. All right, this this is who you have You have to um, make. Uh, he's your puppet. Hey. hey. So and I'm you Jim have, Henson. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. you got to stick your hand up his ass and make that. Now, I'm not, don't let me say that. I can't, I'm not allowed to. And then I have to guess what it is. You think you can do that? Please be gentle with him. We only I have one chance. You can show him, I suppose. I don't no, no don't show him. Though. You don't know what the word means. Oh, God. No. <laughs> that didn't I need another I just... word. Okay, how about, do you know what it is? Why yeah. don't you make him yeah, do does. it? Okay, okay. All right, all right. Someone's time starts now. All right. You stand up. Okay. And then, okay. Do you have any idea what this might be? Yes. <laughs> what? What is it? Yeah. Is it the Macarena? He got it. Yeah! Smackarena. Smackarena. <laughs> oh, there it is. Jeez. Well done. Well, that was fun. Uh, now, I know it's hot here, but look down it's the camera slightly. and plug your show and um, tell people why they should be there. 8.45, the cranker. We've got what? Tonight, tomorrow, Sunday, Monday. 45 minutes of hardcore comedy, politically incorrect, offensive, awesome fucking shit. All right. <laughs> We'd really like you to come down. We got scratch and sniff on the door. Remember, you get the twenty dollar voucher to the strip club. It's a fucking win-win situation. Hardcore Damo, ladies and gentlemen, yeah. freaking the hell out of me. I'm gonna change my pants. We have one for final guest for you. See you soon. <laughs>